God damn it, berries are not part of nature. Are they not powers of nature? Bloody hell. Anyway, welcome back to the second part of the third arc here on the Run the Magnificent 12 Let's Play at the Heavy Base X channel. I'm using a paralyzed heal to unparalyze my venipede, as you may see here. And I'm swapping my uh, Servine only to replace my venipede, which is another blood in it. Okay, anyway, another ranger to fight. A ranger to fight, but she has a panpole. Panpole versus Servine. Servine. Useless Leaf Tornado. Does a lot of damage for her. Actually, does a lot of damage for one that's not focused on her. Oh, but you really, you're just gonna give me a nice drink of water. Survive, Vine Whip. I'm focusing my attention on. Um, yeah, if you may have noticed, my Survive and my g are both hacked. Hacked because they want they know one move, one move they don't normally learn. Although, if you want to go for Dreano's hack... Hello, Shining Grass! Get a little swamp. Ah, oh, I wanted to see what was the shaking. Damn you, Padov. Using a blitzer. Right, um... Going down here. Turn on another one, Pokemon. You see Waddle. Bug Kayla. Bug Bug Kayla. Who oh, did not fuck with a circle? God. Anyway. Picking up another tiny mushroom. Excellent. That mountain contained nothing. However, that's a team plasma grunt. That's another one. Yes, let's begin with another man. Oh yeah. That's right. Let's see, what's on? Chocolate. Yes. Damn it, I've been hit by sand. Wait, there's no sand in the forest, I've been hit by dirt. It just makes no bloody sense. Damn it, detect. Ugh, this is not good anyway. Um, what I'm doing. Here's the, here's the basic principle. Detect does not work three times in a row. I know this. Because it never ever works three times in a row. It works, it works rarely twice, but not three times. And Plasma Grunt is defeated. Yes. And now, we get, we gotta find the last one. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So. Across this, another wild Pokemon, and I believe it's a uh, dove again. Same female Padov! Bringing out my Osha. What? Do you what? You know, when I, when I get the for, when I get all 12 members of my team, I will be doing I'll be dropping some names. Nicknames. That means I'll be using at least one good nickname for all the characters here. So, uh, this ranger has a pants here, which you already know how to take care of by now. He was a G1 water type. And then water type, use water gun, which does more damage than a razor shell. Yes, it does. Right, now, before we get to it, there's this... Before we go north and take on the eventual end, there is a secret. And, that, and we need to get this in order to get a power move. So we'll save here, temporarily. And once we get that out of the way... We'll go back down here, take on this wild uh, cotton knee. Yes, wild cotton knee. Yes. And then get away because it's a grass type, lucky for me. Right, go for this, go for all these wild patches, and you pick up a TM. A6 to be precise. Grass knot. One of the uh, fourth gen's premier moves of last. One of, the, one of the last gen's most premier moves, Grass Knot, is basically a special attack version of Low Kick, which is also popular thanks to Hot Bolts and Silver. Unfortunately, we haven't got. We It's a late game powerhouse, and we don't have any Pokemon face. However, on the other hand, 
we do get to face the last Plasma Grunt. And he has three Pokemon in his possession. He starts off with a Petrat, level 14. Pet, I don't know what most Pokemon we've seen so far, this kind of thing. Anyway, let's use the hack move number one, Vacuum Wave. Which really doesn't do much. Anyway. He next uh, will send another pet out my way, and unfortunately guess what, here it comes to survive. Now I get to show off another hack, or hack move of the survive. Hack move number one! Actually no, I'm using growth. You know, it would have been more fantastic if I, if Survive was contrary and pretty much, uh, you know, it would raise the text of anyway, As you may have saw, Survive has Rock Tomb. Now, the reasoning behind Rock Tomb is simple. It need, it's gonna, it's gonna look, it's gonna, need, it's gonna have a move set that's gonna use a Stone Age. A very powerful. Anyway. Pig Knight comes out to take on Sandile. Wrong timing, you may think to yourself. Well, unfortunately, Sandile doesn't have any powerful physical attacking moves. And Pig Knight does have two moves in the last move, which does power. And of course, our first level 19. And the first request has been defeated. And, that's, and this is the end of that bloody twist, which you regain the Dragon Skull. And basically saying that the Glad says it's our dream comes true. And here, here is what I have to call missed opportunity. Because, and what could happen in, in the third version of this, is that the sages represent the six, there's at least six sages other than freaking um, Gethis, right? What if the sages have Pokemon that represent a stat? You know, just like the five special trainers in Gen 4 were. So basically, what he says is he, he doesn't fear the gym leaders and he pretty much spoils the next gym! Oh my god, where's the spoilers coming from? I don't know why! Where are they just... They, 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 ah. Yay, we get to take off... We get to know the um, bloody train. Anyway. The normal will give you a moonstone, but unfortunately, so normally you would have a moonstone to evolve your your mana. We have a Nidoran, we have a Nidorino in our possession, that we can easily evolve into a powerhouse. But we can't, since he hasn't got enough moves. Anyway, in the next part we're getting out of the forest and we're heading towards Castelia City.